a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Tonight is another beautiful night, and I want to specially welcome all of you to our our uh, November Restoration and Recovery Fasting and Prayer Service. Hallelujah! I believe that this season will bring testimonies. This season will bring transformation. This season will bring elevation. This season will bring light. This season will bring healing. This season will bring salvation. This season will bring deliverance. This season will bring the blessings of God into your life. That is the purpose of restoration. That is the purpose of recovery. And tonight, we just want to take up some few scriptures and then we'll pick it from there and begin to pray. Hallelujah. My God, my God. God is good. God is good. Today we are going to start in this in this direction all the time. I want to thank all of you for being here. And I thank you for your 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 resilience, your commitment, your great your 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 tenacity. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. Baro Sata Paligi Bayagaba Sakata. We are going to read from Psalm 51 the verse. Let's start from the verse one downward psalm 51 a psalm of david when nathan the prophet came unto him after he has gone into Bathsheba, this is the prayer david prayed when he realized that he was not on the lord's side any longer hallelujah you know there is a time that you yourself you know that you are on god's side there is another time that you sense, you realize that you have left the position that God has given you and you have stepped into another place. What did he say? He said, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgression. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin 
for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Verse 4, I love that. Only thee and only thee have I sinned and done this great evil in thy sight, that thou might have be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou didst desire truth in the inward part, in the hidden part thou shalt make me no wisdom. Verse 7 Purge me with high sops, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide not, hide thy face from my sin and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold with me uphold me with thy free spirit then i will teach sinners and transgressors thy way hallelujah and sinners shall be converted unto thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness hallelujah I want us to stop here. You know, it is amazing when the children of God decide that they want to seek the face of God. We want to go to God for Him to restore us. We want this God to restore us. What do you want God to restore you? The fundamental thing that you need God to restore you is your salvation. It's your spirit man. Somebody say, my spirit man. My spirit man. Yeah. Our spirit man has been tempered with. Our spirit man has been hurt. Our spirit man has been wounded. Our spirit man has been defiled. Like a baby, a young person. When a young person is raped, we call it defilement, hallelujah. So you are a young person before God. A lot of things contaminate your spirit. A lot of things defile our hearts. A lot of things take, a, take us away from the will of God. Many things has taken us away far from the will of God far from the blessing of God for our life. Hallelujah. You know, one of the things that God can do for you, uh, a Christian you can do for yourself, is to quickly acknowledge that you have transgressed. You have erred from the way of the Lord. You have erred from righteousness. You have moved away from your position that God has given to you. Acknowledging that Lord, I am weak in this area. Strengthen me. Let me tell you, that is how great men are raised. That is how great apostles are raised. Great women of God are raised. We were not righteous. Like David said, we were born into sin. We were conceived out of sin. So, I wasn't a born again. I wasn't a, a, a man of God when I was a child when I grew up I was a sinner I, I grew out of sin I was born in sin I live among sinners I live among transgressors so I was a transgressor I was a sinner in capital letters but when I acknowledge my sin before God every day crying to him like David he had mercy upon me. Look, we must never stop crying to God to restore us into our rightful place because 
a man is bound to make error man is bound to go into error with our lips even with our eyes the things that we see can defile us hallelujah glory be to jesus so our prayer tonight we have an assignment you are, you are going to pray that the lord should restore unto you the joy of his salvation you are going to pray that the lord should restore unto you the joy of his salvation your salvation must be restored your spiritual man must be restored your inner man must be renewed in righteousness and in the light of god in the light of god's word it must be transformed by by your prayers it must be transformed by the words that you speak in prayer to god it must be transformed in the place of intimacy that is why we have gathered here tonight we are not a group of people who are who are coming here to waste our own time no we know what it means to draw closer to god you will never be the same again there is a transformation power there is a renewal power there is a a a, a change that happens to us when we go to god tonight we are going to talk to god about ourselves hallelujah we are not going to talk to god about anybody we are going to intercede for ourselves so that your spirit man will be restored your righteousness will be restored the joy of his salvation will be restored unto you you need it when your salvation is tempered with him there is nothing more frustrating than that i'm telling you the truth if if the devil stop your money you can get another way of making money if the devil stop your marriage you can get another wife if the devil stop anything around you any business you can get another business you can find something to do but if the devil disturb your salvation try to temper with your salvation is simply temper with your life because we christians our lives depend on the spirit our lives depend on our spirit man the the state of your spiritual man the the nature of your spirit will determine the joy that you have in this world that is why we must press on to god tonight in prayer so we are not going to keep long we are going to start prayer very soon the next two minutes we are going to pray but you must understand what you are going to pray for so that when you start praying you will not be waiting for me to raise prayer point for you you must even some of you must go on your knees you must lie down in your room wherever you are that's why we are not on 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 video so that you can pray the way you want to pray cry to god lord i need you to restore me i don't want to be the same way i am i do I, i am tired of being weak as a christian help me lord restore me take this weakness away from me take this anger away from me take this impatience away from me take this bitterness away from me take this worry away from me take this anything that will hinder your salvation anything that will come before the joy of your salvation lord whatever that will make the holy spirit not stay in me take it away because when your salvation is fully restored the holy spirit will come back and take his proper place that is when you hear the voice of god instructing you which way to go what to do hallelujah glory be to jesus so i want you to prepare yourself right now some 51 david said Do not cast me away from your presence. Many of us are out of the presence of God. We have left our domain. 
our spiritual domain, our place of authority, our place of righteousness, our place of light. And we have gone into the place of frustration. So we are in the kingdom, but we are frustrated. We are in the kingdom, but our salvation is tempered with. Oh Lord, restore me. Oh Lord, restore me. Oh Lord, restore me. Whatever that has come between me and you, restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. That is your prayer right now. Whatever that has come between me and you, Lord, whatever that is standing between my salvation, my love for God, look, some of you love you love your 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 character more than the your your love for God. You don't want the word of God to have its free way. You love yourself more than the word of God. You love your own will than the word of God, which is the will of God for you. The will of God for you is for you to be humble. The will of God for you is to respect one another. The will of God for you is to love one another. The will of God for you is to say calm to be gentle to be to bear the fruits of the spirit but you don't want to bear the fruits of the spirit yet you want to be a christian you need god to restore you hallelujah restoration is the most important thing so this prayer you are not praying for anybody you are not praying you are praying for yourself lord i need healing i need restoration in my life in my spirit I need restoration in my mind. I need restoration in my heart. Some of you, your heart need a cleansing. Your heart need total overhauling. Your heart need a total surgery. Some things must be cut out of your spirit. You need to have a brand new spirit today. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation and renew your right spirit within me. Tonight is a night of renewal, a night of transformation, a night of restoration and recovery. I want you to just begin to pray and thank God, Father. I thank God for this evening encounter. Holy Spirit, restore me. Just begin to pray. There is no formula in tonight's prayer. As I lift up the prayer, the Holy Ghost will lead us to pray in areas that we need restoration. Just begin to pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Madu zebra gada gala gaza gada. Somebody begin to pray. Cry to God tonight. Lord, I need you to heal me. I need you to set me free. I need you to deliver me. Restore me. Restore my mind. Restore my joy. My joy has been taken. My peace has been taken. My righteousness has been taken. Lord, restore me in the name of Jesus Christ. Parateke barasata Lebra gazadaba Restore my heart Restore my spirit Restore my love for you Restore my purity Somebody cry to God Restore your glory in my life Restore your righteousness In me oh Lord I need your restoration In my spirit man Restore me Somebody pray Somebody pray oh Lord restore me Look, somebody, I want you to pray seriously. Don't, don't just wait for me. Don't wait for me. Cry to God for yourself. Ask God to restore your marriage. Ask God to restore your spiritual, your spiritual life. Your spiritual life is very important. Your divine nature has been tempered with. Your divine nature has been corrupted. Oh Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation and renew a righteous spirit in my heart. Somebody pray that prayer right now. Restore my righteousness. Restore my purity. Restore my love for you. Restore my fellowship. My fellowship. Restore my garments. Some of you, spiritual garments. The garments that you used to wear when you got born again. Those garments have been defiled. Those garments have been soiled. Those garments have been dirty. Those garments are taken away. Some of you are naked in the spirit. You are naked in the spirit. Just ask God, Lord, restore me. Restore your salvation in me by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. I cry to you, Lord. Heal me. Cleanse me. Pay 
purge me by your precious blood. Oh Lord, restore the joy of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Somebody cry. I want you to unmute yourselves and pray. Le kudege baru sekete la bazonde brakata kaba e branta balagaba le brasa katoko balagaza. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Restore your righteousness in me, O Lord. Restore your purity in me. Restore the fear of the Lord in me. Some of you, you have lost the fear of the Lord. You have lost reverence for God. God. You have lost the honor that you used to give to God. How you used to kneel down and acknowledge God's presence in your home. You have lost that. Begin to ask God to restore unto you your righteousness. Restore unto you the fear of God. Restore unto you the joy of your salvation. Your, your celebration. You have lost it. Your worship. You have lost it. Your praise. You have lost it. Your spirit man is empty. Your spirit man is naked. Oh Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Somebody cry to God. Lord, restore me. Restore me, O Lord. Restore me. Deliver me from any form of bondage. Deliver me from any form of chase. Deliver me from any form of barriers. Deliver me from anything that is stopping me from serving you right. O Lord, deliver me from a filthy tongue. Deliver me from a corrupt spirit. Deliver Deliver me from a corrupt mind. Deliver me, O Lord, from a perverse spirit, a perverse mind. Somebody pray. By your blood, purge me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Somebody cry to him. Hey, look, tonight is the foundational night. If you don't get tonight right, the the rest of the fasting and prayer, you will not enjoy it. Thank God we are starting today. This prayer must be a starter and a foundation that will keep your fire burning, that will keep your light burning, that will keep the glory of God in your life. Look, some of you, there are things that we, we pray and release them right now. In the night you go to sleep, the enemy will come back and snatch them. The reason why he had that opportunity to snatch them. He takes that blessing away from you. He blocks that blessing that's supposed to come after the declarations, after our prayers. It's because your spirit man is not prepared. It's not strong enough to carry that blessing. Your spirit man is not ready to to carry that millions of dollars. Your spirit man is not ready to get that job. Your spirit man is not ready for that husband. Pray unto God. You need to have a certain spirit. You need to have a certain reason, a certain mindset, a certain understanding, a certain light to maintain the blessing that God is about to bring to you. Oh Lord, Restore me. Restore your righteousness in me. Restore your fire in me. Restore the joy of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Restore my purity. Restore my testimony. Restore my favor. Restore your glory in me. Somebody pray. Somebody, I want you to hear you pray. La gazuge de gebalataya. Look, I, 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 don't, I don't think I should be the one to be praying. Pray for yourself because I am crying for myself. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore your fire in me. Restore your glory in me. Some of you, you need God's glory to be restored unto you. You need that that garment of glory, that garment of righteousness to be restored. Cry, cry. Somebody cry to him with tears. Ask God, Lord, I need your mercy. I need your restoration in my life. Have mercy upon me. Let your mercy cover me. Let your mercy cover me. Restore me, O Lord, in your mercy. Restore me. Restore my glory. 
glory. Restore my destiny. I know that I have been born again for years, uh, but Lord, I am still in struggling with certain things. Uh, restore me, O oh Lord. Restore me, O oh Lord. Restore my heart. Restore my joy. Restore my peace. Somebody cry to God. You need that peace. You need that righteousness. You need that glory. Some of you, God is taking you back to his presence. He is taking you back to the inner chamber. The angels of God are going to dress, undress you and put some dresses on you. They are going to change something from you. As you cry to God on this altar, Lord, have mercy upon me. Restore me. Restore the joy of your salvation in me. Renew a righteous spirit within me. Somebody pray. Hey, Rakasakata. Renew your righteous spirit within me. Don't, don't, don't wait for somebody to pray out of microphone before you pray. Somebody is praying in their room. As you are sitting down, somebody is crying in their room. Somebody has muted their audio, but they are still praying. Don't say because somebody has muted their audio, you are also mute your own and you are sitting down. Don't sit down. You are not a spectator here. We have come to the holy mountain for help. I have come here for help. That is why we are connected in this place. And where two or three are gathered, the Holy Ghost is there. The angels of God are there. God is here to restore. He 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 is here to restore. God is here to restore. God is here to visit you. Look, you are here on this mountain for yourself. Ask God to have mercy upon you. Lord, have mercy upon me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore my righteousness. That righteousness that I used to have, restore it unto me. That righteousness that you were given to me when I was a child, restore it unto me. That destiny that was given to me in Christ, restore it unto me. My faithfulness, my gentleness, my meekness, Lord, restore it. My patience, pray. All these giftings in the spirit. May the Lord restore your meekness. May the Lord restore gentleness. May the Lord restore patience, kindness unto you. Lord, restore my heart. Restore my spirit. Oh Lord, I have been wounded. I have been hurt. The hurt and the pain has designed me and has turned me into a monster. But Lord, by your mercy, by your blood, restore your love in me. Restore your fear in me. Restore a free spirit within me. Restore the joy of your salvation may I rejoice once again may I rejoice once again somebody pray pray the world has changed you the, the troubles of the world the pains of this world the calamities of this world the hardship of this world the brutality of the devil the attack from the pit of hell the attack from witches and wizards has designed you and has turned you into a monster you don't have control over your spirit man the devil is remote controlling you but tonight you are going to be restored you will have control over your emotions you will have control over your anger. You will have con control over the pain, the hurt. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Restore unto me sound mind. Restore unto me the power of the Holy Ghost. La bakene mozetaya e brada balose e broga baluse. Elua kape etenemosia tabaha rakatoko balazaya hey ya badosia tabala la braga zaba logobaya logozege menege baratasa eliba rose e branta balaza elegezogo dagabaya somebody cry in your room as the holy ghost restore me la bazende borata eliga barose e parose tekebaya la bara Restore my righteousness. Restore my purity. Restore my light. Restore your glory in me. Restore your righteousness in me. Restore your love in my heart. Oh, somebody pray. I feel the anointing. I see restoration happening. Change is coming in your lives. 
Change is coming. You will shine like light. You will shine again. Your spirit man will shine again. You will rise up again. You will sing the lost song. You will sing the lost song. You will sing the lost song. Restore your righteousness. Restore your purity. Restore your holiness. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Restore your righteousness in me. Restore your mercy, your love, your gentleness in me. Restore your patience. Restore sound mind. Regebalose gebaya. Ragadogo baligazaya. Labrende barusai. Ebraga balataya. Ebrandone malagabaha. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And oh Lord, somebody, God is touching you. God is touching somebody right now. From today, when they are looking for Christians, you will be the first person they will look for. Because uh, God is restoring your righteousness. Uh, God is restoring your testimony. He is restoring your tongue, uh, your heart, uh, your, your, your conscience uh, is being restored. Uh, you are receiving sound mind, uh, sound mind, uh, and a free spirit. La bagozege balota, e brada balo seke parata, la gazaga dagaba, e ragabaro siata. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Kalebaratakaya, Kalabarosiata, Reke de Gebela Gadohasa, Barende Balusataya, Legebera Toko Balagazagada, La Brega du Balakate, and Dabalua Sapa. I want somebody to pray. Something is coming upon you, something is losing their power. I see the spells breaking, I see the enchantment broken. Any chance that the devil has tied your spirit down, whatever ropes uh, and unclean garments uh, Satan has placed on you, they are removed now. Begin to cry to God, restore me, restore my testimony. Lord, by your blood, restore my testimony, restore my righteousness, restore my holiness, restore my purity, restore the joy of your salvation, the joy, the joy, the joy that keeps salvation going. Receive that joy, receive that joy, the joy of the Holy Ghost, the joy of the Spirit, that which makes salvation sweeter. Receive it now. Rubela Bataya, Elebra Gazogo Balaba, and Talaba Rosiata, the joy that makes your salvation going, the joy that keeps you moving, the joy that keeps you alive, the joy that keeps you praying, the joy that keeps you serving God, the joy of His salvation. Lord, restore that joy, that peace that was taken, that joy that was tempered with, that salvation. That was tempered with uh, Lord by your mercy, by your blood, uh, restore me, restore my crown, uh, the crown of righteousness, uh, restore my crown, uh, the crown of your glory, restore the crown, uh, the crown of your light. Uh, somebody cry, the crown is coming back. Uh, there is restoration coming. Uh, new garments are being restored uh, unto people now. I see see new garments, new garments, garments of righteousness. Hey, Kapalege Barasa. Somebody pray. Kadabala da 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 da. Hey! Restore me, Lord. 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 In your mercy. Bara, bara, bara. Cry to God, restore me in your mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me and restore me. Restore my righteousness. Restore my spiritual garments. Those garments of unrighteousness, let them be removed. 
those garments of unrighteousness, uh, let them be removed. Uh, those garments of uncleanliness, uh, let them be removed. Uh, those garments of disfavor, let them be removed. Uh, those filthy garments, uh, let them be removed. Uh, restore me, Lord. Gadabalata kapa, Brenda balesate, Gabaruse kepala, Rabadosa teke baladosa. Labrakatoko balaba. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Somebody cry to God. I receive that joy. Some of you need that joy. Some of you joy. You lack joy. You lack peace in your spiritual work with God. You lack joy. You lack peace. You lack the, the, the celebration. You lack praise. Your praise has been taken. Your worship has been taken. In fact, the tabrets and the singing cymbals, the things that you used to sing, they are taken from you. Your joy has been snatched from you. Your salvation has been turned upside down. Lord, restore the joy of your salvation in me. Baroseteke balasata. Ragazoka palege barataya. Somebody cry to God. New garments are being restored unto you. New garments. Garments of righteousness. Garments of purity. Garments of faithfulness. La bakatoko baya. La bragazaga baya. Oh Lord, restore me. Restore. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Somebody cry to God, Lord, restore my joy, restore my righteousness, restore my purity, restore my sight, restore my faithfulness, restore my dream, restore my love. Lebra Gabarata, Iban Debele Gebaya, Ibran Tabala Gabiata, Lege de Gebela Gaba, Razunia Teke, Labraga Zuatabe, Regebelo Siataba, Ragabala Gaba Siata, Ragadaga Dagada, Rego Balagabahaya, Razuni Miataba, Rekepe Lagaba, Randuni Miataba, Lekra Tata, Pantene Meyagabaha. Restore my salvation. Restore my righteousness. Restoration is coming. Restoration is coming. Restoration is coming to somebody. Rigo Zabalataya. La Grazagadea. Le Grazagabaha. Restoration is coming. Restoration is coming. Restoration is coming. Somebody cry to God. Restore my righteousness. Restore my crown. Restore my garment. The garments that are taken from you. The garments that are taken from you, your garments of righteousness, your garments of honor, restore my spiritual garments, restore my spiritual garments, your spiritual sight. Some of you, your sight has been blinded. The devil has blinded you spiritually with so many things. He has blinded you with fear. He has blinded you with carnality. He has blinded you with your own anger. He has blinded you. Lord, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Restore my righteousness. Restore my purity. Restore my glory. Restore my life. Somebody cry to him. Restore my light. Restore my righteousness. Restore my purity. Restore my sword. Some of you, your sword has been taken. The sword of the spirit has been taken. Your sword of righteousness has been taken. The word of God has been stolen. The word of God, the precious word of God that keeps you going. It has been manipulated. It has been polluted. It has been turned upside down. Words, negative words have polluted your spirit. 
your sword has been taken the devil has snatched your sword the devil has snatched your garment the devil has snatched your glory anything that the enemy has taken from your soul from your spirit from your body whatever that makes you you whatever that makes you a strong believer whatever that makes you a good Christian that Satan and his demons have taken from you begin to snatch it back I take back my righteousness in Christ I take back my faithfulness I take back the glory I take back the light I take back my understanding I take back my passion I take back the love for God restore unto me the joy of your salvation somebody cry to God you are going back to that holy mountain you are ascending higher again I see you ascending I see you climbing up again you are moving out of that valley the valley of sin the valley of reproach the valley of uncleanness the valley of perversion you are coming out of that valley you are climbing the mountain again Lord restore my purity restore my glory restore my righteousness restore my light restore my garments the garments of righteousness the garments of righteousness restore me Lord begin to ascend higher begin to climb the mountain again no more disgrace that place of disgrace uh, that the devil has brought you to rise up from that valley rise up from the muddy clay begin to climb up Lord I stand uh, by your mercy I cry unto you I hold unto your mercy restore me in your mercy take me out of this sin uh, take me out of this masturbation uh, take me out of this fornication uh, take me out of this filthiness uh, take me out of this bitterness uh, take me out of this anger take me out uh, restore me Lord cry to God let him restore you be restored your spirit man be restored your fire be restored your spiritual hunger your spiritual test uh, be restored the joy of his salvation uh, be restored let the holy ghost uh, re- return back to you may the holy ghost uh, fill your heart uh, somebody pray we have some five minutes more five minutes more baruse ke palataya restore unto me the joy of your salvation and and grant unto me O lord your free spirit you need a free spirit you need a spirit that is free you need a spirit that is sound you need sound mind you need sound mind you need a free heart you need a free spirit nothing should stop you from going to god nothing should stop you from celebrating your god nothing should stop you from worshiping god nothing should stop you from praising god hey kapa yege barataya le brasata le e kolobo yakata le bragazada balakata restore my righteousness somebody cry out let god free you may god take you out of that place may god lose those chains from your spirit may god remove those things uh, those baller those garbage from your heart uh, the garbage of fear the garbage of unrighteousness uh, the garbage of anger the garbage of malice uh, the garbage of unforgiveness uh, the garbage of hurt uh, hey the garbage of pride uh, lord restore my righteousness uh, restore my spirit 
Barasata katoko baya. Kela baya katoko balagazaya. Baruse ke palasata. Jankola barusa paya. Rakatoko baligazaya. Rakatoko barasata kapa. Ragazude bele kapaya. Razanda balikapa. Rege barosataya. Ragazonde balogaba. May your spirit man be restored. May your soul be restored. May your righteousness be restored. May your purity be restored. The garments of righteousness, the robe of righteousness, the robe of purity, may it be restored. May you be clothed once again. May you ascend. May you come out of the pit. May you come out of shame. May you come out of nakedness. May you be clothed once again. May the blood of Jesus uh, cover you. Uh, may the blood of Jesus uh, cover you. Uh, may the blood of Jesus uh, cover you. May the blood of Jesus uh, cover your body. May the blood of Jesus uh, cover your spirit. Uh, come out of that shame. Come out of that reproach. Uh, come out of that pain. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I see restoration happening to somebody. Look, this is the most important prayer in this month of November. Look, you don't need to have a distorted spirit. You don't need to have a spirit that is distracted. You need to have a solid spirit, a solid heart, a solid mind, a solid body. And by the weeks, as, as we go on through the week in fasting and prayer, some of you testify that even interceding for yourself is better than waging war against the devil. I always say it. If you listen to my messages, go back to my videos and listen to every one of my videos. I make mention of it. That praying for your spirit man, interceding for your soul, crying to God to help you come out of the weaknesses, it's better than trying to fight the devil who is attacking you. I will say it again and again and again in every video that pray for the Lord to restore your soul, to restore your destiny, to restore your place in Christ, your authority in Christ is more important than waging war against demons. Hallelujah. Yeah, because Hallelujah. what will give you a thousand a million advantage over the devil is what we have just prayed tonight. And I want some of you to make it a personal prayer tonight. When you want to pray at 12 midnight, the time that you normally pray, please just go humbly go on your belly. Lie down on your belly. Some of you, anywhere, the way you normally pray, lie on your belly and just say, Lord, I need nothing. Just restore me. Just change me. I want to be a new man. I want to be a new person, a new personality. And look what God is going to do in your life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We have Bishop Dave in our midst tonight. Bishop, thank you so much. Yesterday, as we are always praying like this, and you see Bishop here, the Lord is always using him to solve a lot of problems and to give prophetic messages to people. And I want you to always come here with open heart. Don't always come here with doubt. What are we really doing here? I told you yesterday that we are not joking here. If you want a place to joke, we'll go to TikTok. Then I'll switch on TikTok Live. Then we are there and we are playing and then we are asking people to send us money. And then we are laughing and we are having fun. We can all go and do that. But that is not what we want here. We are children of God. We are fighting for the salvation of our soul. We will not join people and sink. There, there, there is a generation that will raise up men from the Mary clay. There is a generation that will stand for Christ and fight for the light of God to keep on burning. And you are part of that generation. And I want to thank you. I want to salute your faith for being here tonight and leading us and also joining us in prayer. God bless each and every one of you.